Walmart High School to the greatest thing you've ever seen. We call it Tiger TV, season 15. Ladies and gentlemen, turn your eyes to the screen and listen to the words that are coming from all these teams. Teacher post attendance while you have time. While the students try to wake up and begin to unwind. Kick back, relax, sit tight, and enjoy the show. Time to send it to the anchors in the studio. Uh. More time. Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Thursday, September 11th, a Blue Day. I'm Bailey Black. And I'm Jason Harrison, and you're watching AHS Today. Let's take a look at today's weather. Happy Thursday, y'all. I'm Emma Tangersley, here with your weather. Today's going to be sunny with a high of 91, a low of 70, and a 10% chance of rain. Tomorrow, there's going to be afternoon showers and thunderstorms with a high of 88 and a low of 70 with a 40% chance of rain. I'll be back tomorrow when I give you the 411 and the 334. Back to you in the studio. Happening today, Jan Miles from Auburn University will be on campus at 9 a.m. to meet with prospective juniors and seniors. This recruitment visit will take place in the multimedia room and Mr. Tindall will take attendance. Youth and Government will meet in Mr. Baker's room 303 today after school. Sophomores, today is the last day to pay your class dues to Mr. Baker or Mrs. Robertson. Class t-shirts will be ordered only for those who have paid. Now let's see what's for lunch. What's up, what's up? Good to see you, man. Hey, what, what are we having lunch today? We have a taco salad, burgers, lemon pepper chicken pizza. Back to you in the studio. Happening tomorrow, Alan Rigby from Davidson College will be on campus tomorrow at 9 a.m. to meet with prospective juniors and seniors. This recruitment visit will take place in the multimedia room and Mr. Tyndall will take attendance. Keldrick Stevens from Morehouse College will be on campus tomorrow to meet with prospective juniors and seniors. This recruitment visit will take place in the AHS Cafe lobby during all four lunch ways. Attention all sophomores, we need your help cleaning up on Sunday, September 14th after the homecoming dance. For your time and help, you will receive pizza and volunteer hours. Please see Mr. Baker to sign up. Is the age difference between a sophomore and a senior too much for a homecoming date? Let's ask a grown person with Jordan Brooks and Ella O'Prandy. I don't know, Ella. You need to ask a grown person. Hey, Jordan. Do you think it's okay if a sophomore and a senior go to homecoming together? I don't know, Ella. You need to ask a grown person. Hey, let's just ask Ms. Ravel. To me, homecoming is about friendship and about being with your friends and having a good time. So I guess if you're friends with a sophomore and you're a senior, then it would be appropriate. Um, I'm not really big on homecoming being like a romantic, you know, slow jam kind of situation. So I don't know if the question is, is do I think that you should be dating each other? Um, if that's the question, then the answer is no, because I don't think you should date anyone until you're 30 years old. Um, by 30, I feel like you have a good understanding of who you are as a person, and then you can appropriately choose someone to date. So to go to a dance and dance around with distance between the two of you, yes. To date, no, because you're not 30 yet. Hey, Jordan, guess what? What? Ms. Rebell said it's okay for a sophomore and a senior to go to homecoming together. <laughs> Happening next week, Hosel will meet after school on Monday at 3.30 in room 307. All students enrolled in health science first and second semester need to attend this meeting. Please see Mrs. Osborne this week if you are interested in serving as an officer. There will be a project grad meeting next Tuesday, September 16th in the multimedia room at 6 p.m. The sheet is accepting students' poetry for its first issue. Drop off your creative work to Mr. Thompson's room 802 by Wednesday, September 17th. Now let's get to know one of our AHS administrators on Staff Spotlight with Sean Kuykendall, Wynn Pritchett, and Abby Watson. Hey, my name is Bo Morsey. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Auburn High School. Um, I've been in Auburn City Schools for 10 years. I was teaching ancient world history at Auburn Junior High for the last nine years, and this is my first year at the high school. I'm excited to be here. I also coached uh, the varsity boys soccer team for, for 12 years, but won the state championship in 2012. Go Tigers. Let's see, a little bit about Mr. Morsey. Uh, I love to play golf. I love to fly fish. I think some of y'all saw that. I've been married for eight years to, to my wife Molly and have a daughter who's one and a half, Blakely. Uh, I grew up in South Carolina, uh, born there and then finished high school there, but kind of popped around in the South. Love Auburn football. Don't like South Carolina football or Clemson, so don't ask me about that because I'll have it make me have a bad attitude. 
That's why I wear bow ties. South Carolina is known for bow ties. So if you see me in bow ties, that's where I get it from. Uh, I don't know how to tie a regular tie. I only know how to tie these. Hey, not my Coach Morrissey. I want to wear a bow tie for homecoming. Um, can you tell me how to tie one? Go ahead. Okay, so step one when tying a bow tie, pop the collar, get your bow tie ready. Step two is just like tying a shoelace. So what you want to do, first step to shoelace. You make your little shoelace knot. Now don't suffocate yourself, but tighten it just a hair. Now step two. Step three. Now this is where we get a little challenging, but you know you guys can do it. So step three, you're going to take the piece of the bow tie that's on the bottom. So you see how this one's on top? You can take the piece of the bow tie that's on the bottom, okay? And you're going to make it look like a bow tie. So make it look like a bow tie. All right, and you're going to let this one fall over it. So step three, this is where it gets tricky. There it is, a hole on the back side where my thumb is sticking through. It's right here. This is the key hole, okay? Because what we're doing is we're going to take this bow tie and we are going to stuff it through that hole in kind of a folded motion. Now once you get here, all you have to do is kind of make it shape, shape it up and make it look good. And you always want to pull on opposite ends. So if I go front over here, I want to go back on this side or vice versa. And so from there, you can kind of just play with it a little bit and make it look sharp. Finish your collar. Boom. We got our bow tie. So if you're looking to practice and you get really good at tying a bow tie, when you're sitting down watching Sports Center, sitting down watching your favorite TV show, just take your bow tie and practice, wrap it around your leg like it's your neck, and practice from there. And then just keep doing it over and over again while you're watching your favorite college football team or ESPN, whatever your favorite show is. And then from there, you get really good at it and you can move to the neck. And some reminders, you can purchase homecoming tickets in the library during school hours before school in 211 or at the school in room 208. They will also be available during third lunch break with Mr. Busman. Tickets are $5 and you must purchase them prior to the dance. They will not be available at the homecoming festival or at the door. At homecoming, once you leave, you may not re-enter. Also, no one will be allowed to check in after 10 p.m. the night of the dance. FFA is selling fall moms for $15 now through Friday. They will be delivered on September 22nd. Contact an FFA member or Mr. Mullins if you are interested. If you are interested in competing in Poetry Out Loud on September 23rd, you must register with Mr. Thompson by next Tuesday, September 16th. Start memorizing that poetry. Don't forget about Homecoming Week dress-up days. Tomorrow's dress-up day is Class T-shirt day. The Athletic Office is selling Homecoming football tickets today through Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Tickets are $7. Come out to the duck Friday night as we take on Jeff Davis. Tiger TV would like to wish Miss Casper a happy birthday. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.